Man was created on the morning of the sixth day. The time of worship commenced, and Adam began the rituals for his Lord. He, and after him, his progeny, performed such rituals. Religions appeared one after another. All of them represented one God, one path, one origin, and one end to mankind. Every messenger who was appointed by God to convey his message informed the people of the advent of the last prophet of God. In this sense, Buddha and Krishna said the very same thing which Noah, Abraham, Moses, John, Zoroaster, and Jesus said. One told the name of the final prophet, and the other spoke of his origin. One forecast the signs of his homeland, while the other described the characteristics of his language. In one way or another, each prophet informed mankind of the joyous news of the advent of the final prophet, the last messenger of the heavens. In the very beginning of history, God sent Adam, his first prophet on earth, to propagate and show the heavenly path to the inhabitants of this world. Thousands of years have passed ever since, and some people continue to follow him by residing exclusively near the riverbanks of the world. به خدای یگان اعتقاد دارند و به پیامبری که از طرف خدا فرستاده شده عقیده دارند در یه جایی توی چیز میگه ادیان دیگه میان ادیان دیگه ظهور میکنن بازم همون گفته خود گنزا رو چیز میکنه به حساب واضح میکنه شما در این اینکه کلام اول رو حفظ میکنید به ادیان دیگه احترام بگذارید Zoroastrianism is one of the most ancient religions of the world. These days, most of its followers are found in Iran, India, and some regions of Central Asia. They possess a heritage several thousand years old. Like the prophets before him, Zoroaster also informed his followers of the coming of divine prophets. The religious scripts of Zoroastrianism refer to these messengers as socians. There are three socians who were foretold to appear after the Zoroaster. Socian, so as we say, Sudrasan is Sud, Mishi. Ba Socian is Sudrasan. Pas un chizike Ashuzatosh Mige, Mige Socian has, but solid Dahezorum Oshida Mohmiad. بعد اوشیدر بامی میاد و آخر کار اون سوشیان تنهایی که ما به همون ورهرام الان بهش متقدیم Alternatively, three socians, three beneficent personalities will come one after the other Throughout history, the followers of Zoroaster have been waiting for their arrival 
They have searched for them everywhere. Attilo! What brings you here? They are visitors from the east. Follow the star. The star of the prophecy. The prophecy of the Messiah? The Messiah. So far, only three Zoroastrian sages have succeeded in seeing the first sociant in Bethlehem. When the last prophet of God appeared in Hejaz, there were many Zoroastrians who saw the signs of the second sociant in him. They joined him in large numbers and became his followers and helpers. However, there are still many Zoroastrians who are keenly waiting for the arrival of the third sociant. They hope that this universal reformer will appear and make the world a utopia. In India, the land of many creeds, there are several mysterious religions spread out in the vast jungles and mountainous regions. Here, you find religions such as Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism. Though, in some case, the followers of these religions have become deviated from the right path. The depth of meaning and spirituality that these religions reveal is indicative of man's inherent tendency to establish a close relationship with an infallible creator and worship him. historical roots of Hinduism are spread over thousands of years. Mysterious ascetics with wonderful conducts live all over India in colorful shrines and dark temples in legendary jungles. They make the unspeakable things of this mysterious land even more mysterious. God is one only. Even in India, in the Hindu philosophy, God is always one. But His manifestation is many. This historical religion has several holy books as guidelines for its followers. These books are full of strange and unsaid mysteries. Among the sacred books of Hindus are the Puranas, these ancient books contain the history of the universe, the genealogy of kings and heroes, and the foretelling of future events. In these books, we again witness indications of the coming of a spiritual teacher called Muhammad from a foreign land.
To him is what Raja Bhuj respectfully says. I prostrate myself before you, O oh, you, the pride of mankind, the inhabitant of Arabia. You have gathered a great power to eradicate Satan. In one of the Puranas in India, Bhavishya Purana, it is also mentioned that uh, Mahamud, uh, Paigambar Muhammad, will be born in the Middle East and he would cleanse the people of corruption and bad habits there and you know he will bring a new wave of devotion this is mentioned thousands of years ago in the Hindu text in a Purana it's one verse is there one quote is there that such and such a person a prediction was done about that He will appear in a sandy desert in the land of Arabia. He will be known as the pride of humanity, and his name is Muhammad. What could be the secret that has been also mentioned in the holy books of Hindus, and of which the Hindu monks have spoken? The history of Jainism goes back about 600 years before the appearance of Christ. According to Jainism, salvation can only be achieved through the practice of asceticism. The tenets of this faith dictate that God has 24 avatars on earth. The last one of them will be born in a peninsula, and the name of his father is Vishnu Bhagat, which is the equivalent of Abdullah and the name of his mother is Somanib, which is the equivalent of Amina. He is said to be taught by Bhagwan in a cave. Then, riding on a horse, he will destroy evil by means of his sword. Although the last avatar was taught by Gabriel and began preaching his message about 14 centuries ago, the followers of Jainism are still waiting for his advent. विष्णु के नारायण के जो 24 अवतार हैं उसमें एक अवतार अभी बाकी है जो कल की अवतार है भगवान का तो घोड़े पर सवार होकर के हाथ में तलवार लेकर के तो दुष्टों का अधर्मियों का अत्याचारियों का वो वध करेंगे हजरत मोहम्मद साहब के बारे में हम ये मानते हैं वे बहुत सज्जन आदमी थे बहुत उदार विचारों के थे बड़े देखो हमारी इस धरती पर जितने भी महात्मा महापुरुष हुए हैं सब महात्मा सब ने लोगों को अच्छी अच्छी शिक्षाएं दी सिक्स हु यूनिक टर्बन ऑन दर हेड आर फॉलोअर्स ऑफ अनदर रिलीजन इन इंडिया but are there any hints about the holy prophet of Islam and his religion in the scriptures of Sikhs? इस्लाम का जिक्र है मुस्लिम का जिक्र भी है आप इसको डिफाइन करते हैं इस्लाम को और मुस्लिम को इस्लाम धर्म है मुस्लिम है जो उनको उनके पैरोकार हैं जो उनके फॉलोअर हैं जो उनको मानते हैं ये इन दोनों का जिक्र है इस्लाम का है In addition to the promise made thousands of years ago by Eastern religions concerning the advent of a prophet called Muhammad in Arabia, Abrahamic religions also foretell the arrival of a great prophet on earth in the last age of humanity.
Moses and Jesus endured many difficulties on the path of propagating their messages. They promised the people about the advent of a man from among the descendants of Abraham. The New Testament clearly promises the arrival of a prophet after Christ. An example of this can be seen in the Gospel of John. Shortly before the advent of Christ, Roman oppression was continuously increasing. More and more innocent people were crucified every day and the poor were made even poorer through forced taxes. In such conditions, a man called John from the shores of the Jordanian River claimed prophecy. He kindled both doubt and hope in the hearts of the Jews of his time. Perhaps they wondered whether he was Messiah, the prophet foretold to end pain and tragedy. On the same day, Jewish leaders sent a group of Levites to John to investigate the matter. Who are you? John confessed. He did not deny. He answered, I am not the Messiah. Who are you then? Are you Elijah? No, I'm not. Are you the prophet? No. Then tell us who you are. We have to take an answer back to those who sent us. If you're not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet, why do you baptize? I baptize with water. But among you stands the one you do not know. He is coming after me, but I'm not good enough even to untie his sandals. John's Gospel contains a marvelous secret within it. This secret, which reveals itself exclusively to those possessing wisdom and intellect, promises the advent of another prophet after Jesus. It speaks of a messenger for whom everyone is waiting. When Christ embarked upon his three-year-long mission, a great disagreement occurred among people. And whoever believes in me should drink. As the scripture says, streams of life-giving water will pour out from his son. This man is really the prophet. The Messiah will not come from Galilee. Many people said that he was the Messiah promised by the Bible. However, others did not agree to this and said that perhaps he was the foretold prophet. What we can understand from John's Gospel is that apart from Elijah, two other people must also come to mankind. One is the Messiah, and the other is, for the lack of a better title, the prophet. Like Christians, Muslims believe that Messiah, who was expected by the Jews, has come. But where is the prophet? who according to John's Gospel must come and has yet to come. All the Christianity believe in the genuineness of Prophet Muhammad. I mean, believe that he was a prophet or not. <clears throat> I, I do not know for all of Christianity. I, I, have, I, have, no doubt he, I have no doubt myself he is a prophet and, and spoke. The, the word of God with, with great love and, and kindness mm. and beauty. Yes. The prophet is a simple. The prophet is a human being, human being, not God. He's a human being that he had great faith, 
a maximum of the faith and he was in contact with God when he was alive. Mm -hmm. And he passed the messages of God to the people. Will Durant writes, According to the documents discovered on the shores of the Dead Sea, people were awaiting the foretold prophet, whose appearance, along with that of the Messiah, was promised. But who is this prophet, and from where does he originate? In order to answer this question, we will have to go back and investigate his characteristics, as found in the Old Testament. According to the Old Testament, Moses saved the children of Israel from the Egyptians' bondage and made them cross the sea. He guided them during the course of 40 years of wandering in the Sinai Desert until they reached the banks of the Jordanian River. Nevertheless, the Israelites continued their lives as nomads. For this reason, Moses gathered them all and said, God told me, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all, that I shall command him, and it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. The Bible only recognizes the children of Ishmael as the brethren of the Israelites. Hence, the foretold prophet must have been raised among the brethren of the Israelites. He must have been given a book like that of Moses, and he must have come with a religious law like that of Moses. The question stands, to which prophet can all these qualities be attributed? Priest James Dow writes in the Collins Dictionary of the Bible, The only personality for whom the forecast of Torah can fit is Muhammad, because he is the only person who resembles Moses and has a book and a religious law. هر نبی از جان خداوند تعیین شده که جانشین نبی دیگری بشه. این یکی از بزرگترین فقهای یهودی به نام موسی بن میمون عقیده یهودیت متأخر رو این گونه بیان میکنه که آمدن حضرت عیسی و حضرت محمد بعد از حضرت موسی همه به خاطر هموار کردن مسیر آمدن منج موعود است یعنی که تمام انبیا در یک جاده حرکت میکردن و مقصدشون این بوده که اون نبی آخر زمانی یا ماشیه در دیدگاه یهود رو راه رو برای اومدن اون هموارتر بکنه این دیدگاه کلی هستش که نسبت به حتی انبیاء غیر یهودی یهودیت دار The prophets came one after the other and guided humanity towards the truth. Every prophet promised his followers about the advent of the last messenger of God. Muhammad, about whom the Puranas had promised, the second sociant of the Zoroastrians, a prophet from Arabia, the last avatar riding on a horse, the prophet resembling Moses and the descendant of the brethren of the Israelites, and the prophet mentioned in John's Gospel. Who is he? In which land was he raised? In which era did he render as true the promise of all the prophets before him?
after centuries of denial and defiance by the unbelievers, Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, titled as Ahmad, the seal of all prophets, from the house of Ishmael, appeared in the land of the Arabs to guide mankind, so that man may not remain in the darkness of ignorance. And now, on the threshold of another millennium, man continues the path of his predecessors in the persecution of the propagators of the message of God, those who decapitated Prophet John, put the cross on the shoulders of Christ, and mounted the Crusades, are once again continuing with their blasphemous persecution of the last prophet of God. They fed their ancient grudge, they despised the sacred, and driven to despair, they set fire to the truth, and tried desperately to injure the prophet. There is no God but God, and Muhammad is the messenger of God. Protect the prophet! We are declaring ourselves. God has told his messenger to declare Islam to all men. Open the windows. Let the world hear. Coming out from the 